We begin tonight in Colleen, where a family gathered to honor Cleveland Jermaine Lewis. He's the man shot and killed in a Colleen neighborhood this past weekend. Channel 6 News reporter Amani Payne spoke exclusively with Lewis's family and joins us now. Hey, Amani. Leslie, the family says their worst nightmare has come true. Through tears, they tell me they're doing their best to make sense of the situation while keeping CJ's legacy alive. It was like having my heart torn out of my body. It was, like, it was the most difficult thing that I ever had to experience in my life. Irene Lewis struggles to breathe, a part of her now missing. She, her friends and family gathered with balloons in hand for Cleveland Jermaine Lewis, AKA CJ. It's his 34th birthday, but instead of celebrating another year of his life, the folks here are mourning his death and asking questions. What was the reason? What's, what was the purpose? What did he do to you? How do you know him? It was here on Allen Kent Drive where CJ was gunned down four days ago, and the killer is still on the run. CJ's wife of 13 years, Irene, says she was the one that found CJ after the shooting. The couple has three children together, the youngest two months old. Irene struggles to put her pain into words and piece her life back together. It hit me, but it really hasn't hit me. It's still unreal. I still can't believe he's gone. I still wait up for him to come pick us up. It's still something that we're trying to process. He was known as a soldier, a family man, a jokester. The family also says CJ was a Purple Heart recipient. I just hope they find whoever done it and bring his killer to justice because he ain't deserved that. He Releasing their balloons in love upwards to CJ and a higher power, promising to keep his light, love, and his legacy alive. That's our heart. That's my everything. Colleen police are investigating the shooting. The family is in the process of making funeral arrangements. If you'd like to help, we'll have their GoFundMe link on our website, kcentv.com, after this newscast, Leslie.